Hello and welcome back to my channel. Glory to Jesus, honor to Mary and Joseph. The Vatican has determined that nothing prevents the opening of the course for canonization of Nina Ruiz Abad, a 13-year-old girl who died in 1993 in the Philippines and whose grave has become a place of pilgrimage. On my assistance, the Vatican News Agency Fides reported that, reported that the Vatican has granted the nearly upstart, nothing stands in the way for the course of canonization to begin for Riz Abad, who is now considered a servant of God. The first step toward sainthood. If the, Philippa, if the Filipina girl is declared a saint, she will be one of the youngest in history. The news was announced with a secular from the Bishop of Laog, Renato Muyawa, that was read in all the churches of the Ilocos Northern region, where Riz Abad is originally from. In July 2023, the bishops of the Philippines had already expressed their support for the opening of the course, which will be formally opened on April 7, Divine Mercy Sunday at St. William Cathedral in Laog City with the first session of the Diocesan Tribunal. Who was Le Nina Louise Abad? Nina Louise Abad was born October 31, 1979 in Quezon City. Her parents were lawyers and her father died when she was only three years old. Louise grew up in Quezon City on Luzon Island along with her sister, Mary Ann. She attended school at the Child Study Center of the University of the Philippines and later at the Holy Angels Montessori School, both in Quezon City. Her mother, a devout of divine mercy, moved with her daughters to Sarat, 300 miles to the north of Quezon City in April 1988 to work at the Department of Justice. Louisa Bass started high school at Mariano Marco State University High School in nearby Laong City. She had a strong devotion to the Eucharist and from a very young age, she distributed rosaries, Bibles, prayer books and holy cards in her neighborhood and at school. When Father Danny Padereja met Rizabad in 1993, he immediately noticed her great love for the Eucharist and that she prayed a lot. She was a working testimony of piety and religion. She was always dressed in white and with a rosary around her neck. Those who knew her recalled. Rizabad was diagnosed with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy at the age of 10 and lived with the disease for three years with great faith and joy. Nina's life was one of prayer, adoration, and intimate relationship with God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the Blessed Virgin Mary. On August 16, 1993, she suffered cardiac arrest while she was at school and was immediately taken to the hospital where she died. She was buried in a public cemetery in Sarat and her grave is now a pilgrimage site. Today, children and young people are inspired by the life of Nina Riz Abad to live a life rooted in prayer. Her rosary continues to reach the hearts of many people because it is an example of how a God obstacles can be overcome. The Philippine Bishop Conference stated, so we continue to pray that God will give us the grace to live a worthy and holy life here on earth so that after our stay here, we we'll have every cause to glorify God in heaven and be remembered for our good deeds just like we are now remembering Louise Nanina. May God help us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.